Hello everybody, I'm James Tillman and welcome to this channel uh, for photography I'm doing. I will be starting this off by saying I got into photography about a year ago with a Polaroid SX70 after watching Matt Day for a while. Um, and from that my SX70 broke and I still want to do photography so eventually I bought this XGM from a buddy of mine and I decided that then I was kind of addicted. Now in case you don't know me from my other thing, music, I'm a musician. Uh, I write songs and I play guitar pretty darn well but I don't sing great so this is why it doesn't do too well for me. And so I take pretty good photos, not professional level, but they are spinning out pretty good. So I got Ilford HP5 400 in here. I'm gonna start taking photos, starting with this old shed in my backyard. Then we'll walk through the woods, and we'll see what we get. As I saw this tree had broken during the last snow ice storm, and uh, we have this ditch running through our yard into the woods. So I figured it could be pretty cool photo opportunities. So I'm gonna see about what I can do. I'm uh, I'm recording this in February, I don't know, like 20th or something like that. It'll go up way later because I have to get this film developed and I want to show you the photos as well. So maybe we could on the on this action of the ice covering the trees yeah let's do that kind of prepared for today yesterday by going to my local store and buying a bunch of film and uh, I had four rolls of HP5 yesterday but when I loaded in one in the morning I was like I'll save this for tomorrow I proceeded to shoot that entire roll yesterday, so that's fun. It's kind of addictive for me, pressing the shutter. Uh, it's a great thing to take my time, line things up, and get cool compositions, such as this one right here. There's a fence back in there. I don't know if you can see it, because I'm using my phone for a camera. And you get this log and this stream, and all this ice, it's kind of hard to walk. This just ain't snow, this is just actual ice. Um, so I think I'm gonna try to go for that fence. There's a tree over there that's curled. Oh no, there's a lot of cool, cool things I can go around and find in these woods, so. Closer I get to this fence, the more I can get a photo of it. So, obviously, it's gonna be a kind of cool composition seeing how parts of it are broken and it's had a weird angle. Barbed wire is going through it. The closer I got to it, the more I saw that. So, this could be a really cool, cool photo. Uh, just getting through this little creek down here without slipping and getting all drenched is the hardest part. So these plants kind of have large amounts of icicles hanging off of them, so I might photograph them. Uh, I should have brought a lens cleaner because I'm kind of needing one at the moment. All this water is getting, well the size is melting on my camera lens. It's causing like a dreamy effect when I wipe it off. Don't know what I'm going for. There's these old posted uh, trespassing signs. I'm not taking a picture because it's so faded, I'm afraid it won't turn out. They've been here for a long while. There's a couple throughout here, I'm noticing. Probably belonging to that red house that they read by. So I doubt those people own it because this is definitely older than those houses. Those houses aren't that old. Um, the house I live in is built in 71, 72. My grandfather had it built. My grandfather had it built after uh, he and 
my grandmother got married for them to live in, and they've lived in it ever since. There's quite a few of these signs, there's one right there. But yeah, everything else has been like added in the 90s, or the 2000s. This wasn't a really common place to live for a while until the city got kind of popular due to, uh, well, a college. It's a college town. Anyhow, I should probably shut my mouth up and take photos of weird warped metal in the ground. I'm not feeling it though. Is that metal? No, that's carpet. Gross. There's some metal over here though. I'm getting real close to their property line. I'm sure they won't mind. Look, neighbors stand to stand. Some, some cool composition right here. I'll show you. There's these two metal things right here. It's probably one long piece of metal. And the fact that this tree kind of fell over it. And I back up, I got 50 millimeters, so we'll zoom in a little bit closer. Let's go. <laughs> you gotta be kidding me. Oh, that's so cool. You gotta photograph anything wrapped in barbed wire. Oh, this is definitely gonna be more closer to the angle because it's like so many loops of the barbed wire right there. Let's see if I can just find it. Maybe right there. I like how the leaves are on this tree kind of forming a cool thing, and then there's that little ice patch down there. If I can get the right angle for it, I'd definitely go in for it, but this tree is kind of in the comp. So I think I'll just like lean against this tree to get what I want. I have to angle it low. Probably take one of that, one of that. There's this cool little landscape right here of um, like this if I get it right I could have like the tree looking like it's two trees looking like one there's some birds either way I think I can line that up good hide up most of those trees somehow like right there and kind of make that one tree what the photo's about dog's been let out. Found this tree that's somehow still green in the middle of winter. Uh, so it must be like an evergreen or something. Once I get to the more I see points on the end of the leaves. So it's kind of cool. I'm going to take my last, I got like two or three more pictures on this roll. So I'm going uh, I'm just gonna go ahead and take some pictures of this little tree and then head on back. That would be my roll. I have a spare roll just in case, but I doubt I'm gonna use it. There's another green tree. That one's more green. So we'll see what we get. Oh, so. Ending this video, it's been, what is it? I don't know what day it is anymore. It's March 21st. It's been over a month since I shot that video. And a lot of things have changed and I'm excited for you to see what's to come. Uh, and I have not been filming as I should have. So most of my next videos will be more of me describing what's happened uh, through the walks or through whatever I've done. So I do have this video ready to go. I just got finished editing it. This is my final thing. And this is my first video here. And I'm thankful. Uh, I want to tease a couple things. First off, I just got a Canon A1. And I shot like just today three rolls of film on this because I walked around with a couple of really good photographers. They were showing me some cool things. Got a couple more cameras over there. I shot that entire last video on a Minolta XGM, which I'm probably going to shelf for a while while I use this. 
um, because this is just a far superior 35 millimeter camera though there is nothing wrong with shooting a middle to XGM they get great results it's just this has a better lens so I'll be shooting this and on that note there's a video that might take a long while that I'm excited about about shooting on dates going on dates or just hanging with friends so I want to show I have a video all about that but that being said I'm ending this video here I want to say thank you if you don't mind like and subscribe uh, to watch me grow as a photographer I'm very excited about this journey about figuring out things and learning how to uh, take certain photos and stuff so please follow me and uh, watch my journey leave tips and comments down below thank you